Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Tools Rush channel. Today I wanted to do an in-depth toolbox tour. I don't know if any of you guys saw my toolbox tour in 60 seconds. I didn't really go over anything. I just kind of showed you what I had. I want to go over things, prices, is this worth it? Would I recommend you buy it? That's what I want to do today. So we're going to go ahead and start it off with my uh, Pittsburgh pry bar set and this uh, US General magnet rail. Now, magnet rail is five bucks and I would definitely recommend it for that $5 price tag. It served its job great, and if I have to throw something up there real fast, because you no, know, I'm going to use it again, but I want it off my toolbox top, it's a perfect place to put it. Um, and these pry bars, these are, I believe, $17 normally for this set of four. Wait for them to go on sale for 10 that'll happen quite often. Would I actually recommend them? No, I actually really wouldn't. They served great, but I actually broke one of them recently, being this little tiny one. And the bar did not even go all the way through the handle. So I actually would not recommend you go buy these anymore. Originally I said, yeah, I would recommend it. And I guess on a low profile job, you know, something you're not doing any crazy anything, they might be worth it, but I personally would not recommend it. Now going here into my top drawer. This is my favorite drawer. This is my most expensive drawer. This is my prized possession drawer. So we're going to go ahead and start it off. I've got a um, whole bunch of Husky and... Uh, cobalt sockets and actually i really really like these huskies they're pretty much all six points in the husky um and they work really really well i like them a lot and they're a socket that is not super expensive i bought them used from a friend who got an entire uh, husky toolbox with a bunch of husky tools out of it from a storage unit so i really don't know how expensive these are brand new but you know if you go to your harbor Fre not harbor freight but a uh, home depot Wait for these to go on sale. I would 100% recommend you pick up a set of Husky sockets because they really are really good. Also have some Cobalt sockets. Now these, I actually do not love as much. And one of the reasons is I got them and they were all 12 points. And that's just my personal opinion. They do have use. And you know, that shouldn't be my reason. I dislike them, but that is, I'm not a big fan of 12 points. I prefer six points, uh, 10 to one. Also, over here, we have these Hyper Tough Impact Sockets. Now, I've used these guys multiple times for a couple of different jobs. Um, and I really, really like these. Now, these guys are in 3 8 And I wouldn't recommend you buy them in 3 8 I'd recommend you buy them in half inch because that's where we're going to use them the most. But these guys, these guys were on super sale, so that's why I have them in 3 8 and not um, half inch. Um, this guy right here, this is a Pittsburgh Impact Socket 21 millimeter. I've used it once, and it was actually pretty good. So I really couldn't tell you how much I liked it because I haven't used it a whole bunch. But for $4, I would recommend you go buy one, especially if you're in a pinch and need one or you just don't have one yet. I would 100% recommend you go buy one of those. Let's go ahead and talk about this Husky 3 Ratchet set. We're going to go ahead and put it on the top real fast. These guys are $40 for the 3-pack. They're 72 tooth. You get a quarter inch, 3 eighths, and half inch, of course. Now, the half inch is not absolutely amazing, and neither is the 3 eighths. Um... I really do like this guy a lot, though. None of them sound amazing, and uh, none of them grip. You know, they're on the lower end quality of a 72 tooth ratchet. But, yeah, like I said, wait for them to go on sale. You can get them for $30. $30 for three ratchets, in my opinion, is a steal. Even $40 is a pretty good deal, and I would recommend you go buy a three-piece Husky ratchet set. Now, moving farther down into my toolbox, we have... This Neatco 108 tooth, I bought it off Amazon for 12 bucks, and would I recommend it? No. Why? Because it is a stubby, but not only is it stubby, it the entire thing is just really, really small. There's nowhere to really get a good grip on it and really, you know, crank down or not crank down, but crank something off. So this is really a super low torque tool, you know, not because it can't be used as something to really torque stuff down or take stuff loose. It's just so short and there's no good grip on it like in higher quality brands, and it says it's 108 tooth. I don't know if I actually believe that one because it doesn't perform like a 108 tooth, and I just really would not recommend you go and buy that. Although it's pretty cool. You know, if you want to brag, you have a 108 tooth ratchet for, what is it, 12 bucks? That's that's cool, but I wouldn't buy it again. This guy right here, I would buy 10 times over. I'd buy this thing 100 times because I love this thing. This is my Pittsburgh extendable ratchet in a 3 8 and quarter inch. Now, I never actually use it with quarter inch because it is quite big. Four times you actually use quarter inch ratchets, but this 3 8 side, I love this thing. I use a, use it whenever I'm doing oil changes or something like that, and I really, 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 really like it. 
and for 18 bucks i recommend every mechanic go buy one of these right now at harbor freight lifetime warranty the first one i got was defective so in here this was all messed up and you know i got it returned it took about two minutes i had a brand new one in my hands and so i would 100 percent recommend it now i also have these pittsburgh uh wrench to socket adapters and i really like these because you can put it inside of your socket just like so and now you can put a wrench on that and so it lets you get to tighter places when you really really need it and for five bucks yet again wait for them to go on sale you can get them for a lot less i would 100 percent recommend it now right here i have this icon 12 inch breaker bar i bought it for eight bucks because it was on super sale if you don't find it for eight bucks don't buy it it's not worth it it's really really short and there's not a whole bunch of times you actually use a breaker bar this short you're going to use a ratchet typically over that um right here this is just a random amazon uh breaker bar i got it from my papa and i really like it uh yet again it was probably like 20 bucks on amazon and it's worked out really good i haven't broke it yet i probably will break it one day but i haven't done that yet um my opinion though best budget breaker bar would be a pittsburgh breaker bar from harbor freight especially because you get that lifetime warranty and moving on to these extensions i have this craftsman i bought that for a dollar for my friend he got it out of his storage units i have a couple pittsburgh of uh, these quick releases and i actually really like these these are really nice to use i have that in three eights and i have just a couple other husky and uh just other random pittsburgh uh Adapt not adapters, but extensions. And I have a bunch of adapters by Pittsburgh and Husky. I really like those. This is a Lexan Torque Sockets. These guys are really good. And I would 100% recommend it. They're 20 bucks on Amazon. And they have a limited lifetime warranty. Um, so, I mean, not quite the same as something like Harbor Freight. But they do work with you pretty well from what I hear. I haven't tested that yet, but uh, that's for what I hear. This right here is my Pittsburgh Click Type Torque Wrench. I love this thing. For the price of $22, I'd recommend anyone who does not have a torque wrench, but, you know, might use one occasionally, buy this thing. This thing is really, really good for $22, bucks, and it's fairly accurate. Me and my friend put it up against uh, his dad's Snap-on, and it was actually pretty accurate. Um, Moving on to my next drawer, this is my power tools. I just have two right now. I have a Milwaukee Fuel and a... Brushless uh, Hercules mid torque half inch, um, of course quarter inch. Um, would I recommend you get either of these? Yes, I would recommend this guy a lot. Right now they're running a deal for a hundred bucks. You can get it, a five amp hour battery and a charger. So I'd recommend you go buy that, especially if you've been needing one. This Milwaukee Fuel, I bought it for twenty bucks. So for twenty bucks, yeah. But for the two hundred, it would cost to get pretty much this little thing or get it for a combo for about one hundred and fifty. Would I really recommend it? No, it's really, really good, but in my opinion, you can get better, higher quality ones that will work a lot better for a little bit less, although one advantage is this is really small in the market for the power it puts out, so if you're looking for a compact one, yes, but if you're looking just for a quarter inch uh, impact driver, I would recommend go buy it from somebody else. And these are Husky adapters, the Warrior. I've not actually used these yet, but um, they're probably not anything great. They're just Harbor Freight stuff. The Husky... Uh, things adapters to put inside of my driver those are really nice they're impact rated and i like them a lot right here we have this cobalt screwdriver set this thing is 20 brand new i bought this uh, screwdriver holder from harbor freight it was four bucks um i've got this zebra hand screwdriver and uh i believe it's 25 dollars new and i like it a lot but yet again it's another one of those tools that i don't actually really use super often and I wouldn't recommend go buy it for 25 bucks. I recommend get a whole screwdriver set um, for even less. I have these two Pittsburgh picks. I lost two of them. I think I broke one of them. I really like those. They're like $2 brand new or $3 brand new. Um, so those are nice. I have a bunch of different bits. Uh, I got this thing. No idea. It's just some random Amazon thing. I use it whenever I've got little tiny projects. Right over here in my left drawer. Um... I have my Husky normal wrench set. Yet again, more Husky tools. I really like these guys, and I would recommend go buy them. If you need a wrench set that's cheap, high quality, a uh, Husky's there. Now, over here, I've got these Cobalt Flex sets. These are amazing. If you do not have a set of Flex Red Flex Head wrenches, I would 100% buy those because those are 
I believe, 90 bucks. No, they're like 100 bucks for uh, 18 through 11, skipping 16, which you don't even use. So, yes, I would recommend this. This is really nice. These Worth wrenches, these are 50 bucks new. I got them for free. My dad gave them to me. Somebody at the work was, you know, giving these away because he had a whole bunch of them. And I really like them for 50 bucks. I don't know if I'd recommend them, but they are really nice. Just getting over here to this drawer. I have the Bauer tape measure. I really like this guy. Um, for eight bucks, definitely worth it. I uh, got cobalt pliers. Yet again, another one of these tools that I really like. Lifetime warranty. And I would 100% recommend buy this. They're eight bucks. Just got a couple other various uh, things. Most of these I got from my toolbox that I bought from my friend because there's more than just husky in there um right here this is my first snap-on it's a three-fourths inch uh flare nut and I really like it I don't actually use it a whole bunch but I do like it um these are all craftsman flare nuts these are the USA ones though so they're a little bit older I really like them these are yet again more husky and I see these were metrics just so you, in case you didn't know um of course, Allen wrenches, which you don't actually use very often. But when you use them, when you need them, they're nice to have. I got this Harbor Freight headlamp I got for free. A um, couple other Harbor Freight look around mirrors, magnets. I have another magnet right there, plus my power system. Um, these are just a couple different heads, you know, magnetic. Uh, I don't know what to call them, but you know what I'm talking about, guys. And then right here, this is a valve stem swapper i this is from harbor freight it's three bucks and yes i would recommend it right here we have the holy grail my receipt box in case i need warranty something um harbor freight does it through your phone number but everywhere else really doesn't so that receipt box is nice to have also have this uh electrical checker harbor freight it's like three bucks um last drawer more harbor freight stuff it's just a normal claw hammer Dead Below Hammer, I would recommend this. It's eight bucks, this is six. It's nothing special, but this, this. This guy right here, this Dead Below, 100% recommend it. This is an Ikea Hammer, absolute garbage. The only reason I have it is because it still works. As soon as it breaks, I'm gonna be happy to throw that one in the trash. Um, over here, I have my jack stands. This is a fender cover, so when you're leaning over the car, you're working on something in the engine, you're not messing up the fender, you're not getting yourself dirty or anything like that. Um, right here, these are a couple funnels from Harbor Freight. They're like $3 new. I really like them. This is a Ziploc bag full of sockets. I don't have any room up here for, but I'm going to be buying some more socket trays so I can fit those guys in there so they're not just down here in the bottom. And right here, you guys might be wondering what this is. I'm going to quickly show you real fast. Something I get got from my dad, so I don't know how much it cost, but it's just a uh, Tarver tire remover kit it's a little bit higher quality than what is put in most cars so as soon as my car starts running i'm gonna throw this guy in there and uh use it whenever i need it hopefully i won't need it but when i do need it it'll be nice to have inside of my car and that's uh my toolbox guys so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one